All right, I wanted to show you guys two of my favorite features here on the Baby Lock Crescendo. This is an amazing machine for quilters, and one of the biggest reasons for that is the digital dual feed foot right here. So this is a little bit of an extreme walking foot. Um, it does plug into the back of the machine. There's a cord back here, it plugs in. Um, you can get different soles, they're called soles here, um, which are the, the feet of the digital dual feed foot. Um, and then the biggest advantage of this is for quilting, especially when you have lots of layers. So I'm going to demo to you guys real quick how many layers um, this can handle. Um, so here I have two pieces of fabric with some batting in the middle. Um, I'm going to lower this presser foot here and I'm just going to sew. Okay, so that's um, normally the amount of layers that you'd be quilting with, a normal quilt. Um, handled it really well. I'm gonna fold it over real quick, so kind of double up on that. All right, so that was double the amount of layers. And I'm gonna double it up one more time. And I just want you to um, notice how evenly this is feeding it, even though there are a ton of layers under here right now. Um, there is like a little belt right here that is feeding the fabric through. I'll show you guys a close up in just a second. But there's a little belt right here that's feeding it through on the top, similar to a walking foot. And then we have, obviously, our, our um, feed dogs underneath. Okay, so here is my stitching. Looks amazing on both front and back. all of these layers of fabric and batting. To remove this foot, all you need to do is unplug it from the back here and then loosen this screw right here and it comes off nice and easy and then we can put our normal ankle back on the um, shank here. And there we go. And then this is the regular ankle that comes on the machine and it, it does have the snap on feet. So those are really easy to interchange as well. All right, um, this last thing I would like to demonstrate for you guys real quick is the use of the sensor pen. This pen plugs into the side of the machine. It has lots of different uses, but the one I want to demo to you guys today is how you might use it when appliquing or using a decorative stitch. So here I have my fabric and then I have a star that I'm going to applique on top of it. So first let's take a look at my screen over here. Um, I'm going to choose a blanket stitch right here that we can use to applique. So I have that selected. And then I would also like my laser guide to show. So I'll show you guys what that is in a second. But I want my laser beam to be right over the straight side of my blanket stitch. So there we go, I have my laser guide lined up here. And then I'm gonna head over here to my sensor pen. And um, you can see that we have a couple different uses for the sensor pen. This is the one I'm going to show you guys today. Um, and this is to um, signify an end point of a particular um, design. And so what this is going to do is I can register my start point of where I want it to stitch and then my end point. Um, and I'm going to demo that to you guys over on the actual star that I'm applicating. But I can choose where I want it to start and where I want it to stop using the sensor pen. Alright, so with that screen up over here, it's telling me touch the ending point using the sensor pen. So I want it to end right here at the tip of my star. Actually, because it's a blanket stitch, I want it to end a little bit before the tip of my star. So I'm just going to press this point here. And then I'm going to hit OK on my screen. 
And now I can sew. And my foot is still on the pedal right now and it stopped sewing all by itself right where I indicated with my sensor pen. So, so I'll show you guys that one more time. Say I wanted to do the other side of this point, I can go ahead and mirror image the same exact stitch. What I'm doing with my laser guide is um, because over on the screen I lined up my laser guide to be the straight edge of the blanket stitch, I know that I want my laser beam to be along the edge of what I'm appliquing. Um, so I have my laser beam lined up here. And then I'm going to indicate the end point again. And I'm going to start sewing. And there we have it. As you can see, my stitches ended just short of the point like I indicated with my sensor pen. Um, you can do that with a lot of the decorative stitches on this machine, so if you're doing any applique or decorative stitching of any kind where you want it to complete the full picture of the design, for instance if you were doing a heart, you could indicate if you want it to finish the heart or if you want it to stop halfway through a heart design. Stuff like that that makes this machine super customizable to whatever you're working with.